What's up guys? It's Drew on Xbox Live with another episode of Hitman Absolution. This is Dexter Industries. This mission totally sucks on suit only. Yep, I spent probably an hour just trying to get through this first part. But anyway. So as you can see, you create this traction, run past the guards. Try to stick to this side so you can get here before this guy comes past. Pick up the wrench. Head over here. You gotta be careful up here. Because there's guards you can see from a couple different sides, so you really gotta hug this Jeep and use it to your advantage. Usually you can stay like right about here. You know, pretty close to this tail light. You're usually pretty good. There is a really good soundtrack to this game, I think, especially like the cutscenes and stuff. It really sets the mood. You know, it's a very cinematic approach. Um, but this and the score that plays during the missions is really cool. I mean, I like how it responds to what's going on in the game and uh, whatnot. So I mean, it's really good sound, but uh, I still think that they should have brought back Jesper Kid to do the score for this game as well because he did all the other ones and the music was great there actually is a, a mission in this game it's uh, one of the Skirky missions where after you uh, encounter Skirky he or they play Ave Maria and uh, that was first introduced in the previous game Blood Money And then it was used again in the movie. Whoa, so trying to time it to uh, if you have good enough eyes, you can uh, watch back here and tell whether or not this guy's actually in his doorway. And as, soon, as soon as he steps away, you just throw a distraction item and go. But watch that one guy that moves. The evidence is to the left, but I was not going to go for it. If any of you guys have watched the movie, comment, let me know what you thought about it, because I know there's a lot of varied opinions on it. Because it wasn't at all like the games. Uh, well, it was somewhat like the games, and uh, there were a few similarities, but the director really wanted to uh, make his own version of the story, so he did make some changes to some things like the origin of Mr. 47, but I don't, anyway, I guess it was alright, like, I thought it was good for trying something original, but, uh, the Hitman fanboy in me really wishes it was more like the game, so let me know what you guys think. So yeah, you want to wait until this guy's uh, closer to the bottom of the stairs to chuck that. What the? So that when they both turn their backs, you can Don't sneak you past them up the stairway here. Whoa. I get really lucky a lot awesome. on this game. I don't even know why I'm sneaking right now. I guess, well, there are still guards below me, so I guess sneaking is a good idea. Anyway, let me make your way to this door. That's where we need to go. You can run through here. It's actually not going to matter that they hear you. They'll never see you. There's a guy that sometimes walks back this way from the other, from the lower part, so... Sometimes if you just try to switch over the window, you still get spotted. Here you do want to run, because it helps clear up the path in the next part. Make sure you pick up something to throw. Okay. 
because there's actually like three or something like three guys in here normally but then if you run a couple of them leave what the hell? you can just distract this guy grab the gas hey, can pick up the evidence and then take off and you should be able to do it without being seen you do want to hug this thing here though because that one guy's gonna come back and he can see you so we're good chill out here for a second on a lower difficulty I would just wait till these guys left and cut right but uh, it's gonna be easier if we just follow them in This is actually a pretty clever technique. I, I gotta look through my history and see who I uh, saw do this because uh, I gotta give them props. I never thought to do this, but it's so awesome. He was a little better about this part than I was. <laughs> he was a lot better. But you're trying to push the can up here and into this corner. And you're going to put the gas can down here. This is what, oh, I guess there's that box mine. I guess you could use that too. But I like this. So shoot the gas can quickly, quicker than I did. Quickly. Evade over here and pick up this wrench. Now, sometimes these guys will all move at once, sometimes a couple of them hang back, but you really can't sit here too long or you'll get seen, so what I try to do is after these two guys run by, I chuck this, they're already making their way past, and you squeak by, you will like almost get seen there, but if you can squeak by, then you're good. When you get up here, hug this side of the wall, because some of them will walk back in, these guys won't see you. Normally it's just these two guys, but now there's a third guy in the back there, so this is the timing you want. You want him to be here when they come out. Carefully here. Move up here without him seeing you, and then hang back behind this third guy. This is really tricky. I got spotted here quite a few times. Especially if you miss the timing. But you just want to move over here so you can see the elevator and get this objective. Hey, I'll have it after the fight. I got too big. And then sneak back over here and hit the power while these guys are talking. Yeah, my girl back here. Good girl. I know a couple times I did this, I thought I had to wait for these guys. But uh they won't see you. You can just hit the power and go. You actually have a greater chance of being seen if you try to hang back, because one of them will come down this way. 